Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, the Morpha project. Um, so today, um, I actually want to uh, continue on working on the uh, on the tree right here. So I hope that it's going to be working. And um, allow me to get started. So, um, dip, Jesus. All right, I thought it was not that problematic, but no, probably not. All right. So, um, today we're going to be working on this tree again, on the leaves, and then, you know, we're going to work on uh, trying to get all the coloring done, and then, you know, design the second part of, the, of it. But, uh, yeah. I have some good news. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be doing some practice drawings. And then the day after that I'm going to be do, doing also some practice drawings, and then once that is all done... I will try um, to finish. Oh, well, I'm gonna do some practice drawings um, do, through the day and trying to record them. I believe. Uh, yes, I believe so. Or I'm gonna be just live streaming them. Uh, one of the, one of the two at least. But these drawings are gonna be only one hour, uh, one hour each, which is gonna be like a practice to. Uh, getting the whole damn thing done so uh because i actually uh, i actually went on uh, uh how do you say it? i actually applied on a uh, on a tournament for uh fast drawing and as you probably know i am terrible at fast drawing so therefore you know i thought it would be a very good idea because well why is this black yeah this is black why is it not Done. Oh, I'm drawing on the wrong way. I? Oh, yeah. I should be drawing on this one instead. Yes. So, yeah. I'm going to try to do my very best upon those speed drawings. Um, probably going to be do something like very simple, like a drawing for, you know, action scenes. And combine them with other things that I want to draw to begin with. Of course, you know, once we're doing the drawing well, uh, doing it live, it might look, it might be a little bit more difficult. So, yeah. Um, so far, so good. And, uh, most of it, I'm a little bit nervous. If you didn't notice already, I'm very nervous to get into the uh, to the Saturday Sunday business. But uh, I hope that biscuit is gonna be good and well earned. Um, so no further ado, I will getting started on the drawing here at hand. You know the main problem with this drawing is actually that it takes so long because well you know it takes so long because I'm doing heavy detail work. Which normally is not a very big deal, but, you know, with this thing, I do want to make sure that it looks proper. So, yeah. Mm. We're going to get this one right here. Yeah. And now we're going to go up like this. So yeah, I'm um, I'm very tired of talking today because of uh, you know, being concentrating on this and concentrating on talking while, you know, thinking what I'm supposed to say. It's like ah, it's such a dead sentence. Especially if you're always talking in ba into your mouth like, you know, you have some watery problems because you know English is not the native language and then you want to say something and it's like the word yes I forgot about the word didn't I yes of course I forgot about the word <laughs> so yeah the, the translations is not very good for me and I need to do it all by hand so therefore you know it's all very difficult 
Now, when you are trying to live stream and you do it on your original uh, language, it might be a little bit better, but I would say, like, if I want to do this on my original language, no, I wouldn't. It's, uh, I don't know what it is. It feels odd. Let's put it that way. It feels very odd if I do it on my original language. Like the native language, not original. Native. Jesus. So original, that language, isn't it? Yeah, totally. It's uh, it's one of those legendary languages, you know. You get those in booster packs. No. It sounds so stupid. Like, what the hell? What, why do, did I say original, original language? It's like, no. It's not a brand original. Why would it be brand original? It's more, mostly borrowed languages and then merged to within each other. It's like German and English had a child and then you... You put some different, and then you put some Norwegian's uh, accent in it. That is language. And then you would be like wondering, like, what the hell are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about language, of course. I'm talking about the language I have. Cheese Louise, Dutch. One of those languages that doesn't make any fucking sense when it comes to, you know, where did we borrow this? Hmm, good question. I was wondering the same thing. Why did we borrow this? Or when did we borrow this? Most of it is actually from from the uh, from the Germans or from the French itself. English also have a, has a lot of words of it, but you know, don't want to give them all the credit. And go away. Thank you. All right. Now we actually need to figure out like where do we go from here on. Do want this part right here to be drawn in, so we should definitely add some variety here. I need to remind myself that I don't supposed to draw like you know they are made from children books, so no need that. Need to remember that I need to draw a crocodile too, for otherwise things go bad. But yeah, I will try to do some recordings and then draw the, put a timer on it. And then once the timer runs out, you know, I'm done with drawing. So I only have one hour to draw and see how far I get at it. Because, you know, I need to do some training before, you know, doing the uh, drawing application. Which is like, you know, I only have one hour to do and I need to have like, I have five five minutes to post and then one hour to draw. So yeah. Gonna be doing those things, by the way, live, so you better repair and better get your ass prepared for it because, well, you know, gonna do those live. Um, the first thing I'm probably gonna be trying to do is actually draw a thumbnail, which is quite good. And what kind of thumbnail do I want to draw? Well, I want to draw the thumbnail of, you know, time, because, you know, it's like, yeah, time. It's one of those things that is like very easy to draw anyway. It's like, you know, have a clock or something like that. But then I also need to make it dreadful, though. That's the big question. Like, how do I make time being like a total jerk? Because that's exactly what is going to be happening anyway. Um, like so, right? And I can move this upwards to there. There you go. All right. That works. I just now need to lower it down a bit. The uh, hook and the hookness of it. So I need to make it softly again. I also came to the realization when I saw the news today, I actually saw that I was thinking like, huh, what happened? And then, you know, apparently there was something happening. Um, so the whole the whole thing was actually that I was looking into some uh, 
uh, how do you say, early access games to see what, like, what they are and how they feel. And then I came to the realization, like, oh, this looks very similar. And then, you know, some rumors came around and even a, a court case came and I was like, excuse me. All right. So now the game is shut down. But, of course, you know, you cannot play it. And um, the people that have paid, you know, it's early access. So good luck getting that money back. That ain't going to be happening. So another, another recommendation why you're not supposed to buy early access that early. It's early access. It's like beta, but then you know, once you, once you sink money in it into it, it's very bad. And luckily, you know, Steam always has you know that refund policy, which is really nice. You know, we if you play like two hours and you don't know if you want to buy it, and you don't want to feel sorry about it, you just ask Steam, and then you know, Steam will say like. Oh, well, you have only played two hours, so therefore, you know, we will forgive you. Regardless of the terms. So you still can get your money back. Which is really solid. Alright. So now we gotta add that part right there. And then we're just gonna add this part right here up. Quite nice to see how this is all turning out. The tree itself is actually getting far better now. I was a little bit worried about the shaping, but eh, it's still decent. And you know, the more we take about this, the better it gets. But yeah, so next week, oh, well, this this week I'm going to be doing some lot of speed drawings because I actually need to do it. And I need to do the speed drawings like within an hour, so... I don't know if I then have time for... Then, do I have time to think about how to do the coloring? Probably not as fast as I think it would be. And then you look at other people's art and then you realize directly like, holy shit, those people do... Those people, if they did this in, in an hour, that's impressive. So, I'm hoping that, you know, within an hour, I can just get a good result of what I want to draw in the first place. I already saw like multiple things that I need to draw, that I need to draw, so like a vacation, uh, the other one was a lion, if I'm correct, and the other one is winter clothing, and I'm like, winter clothing, really, I need to draw winter clothing, alright, so, um, those things, all of those things, clothing, not my uh, particular good, uh, part of it. Winter clothing might be one of those things that I probably am gonna be horrible at. And uh, I'm probably gonna be just doing it the other way around. So I'm gonna make a joke about winter clothing instead of making winter clothing itself. Probably I cannot get the translation done before that though. Mm, maybe I can, I just need to make sure that I do it all properly. So I'm just gonna make winter clothing and then, you know, oh, I can make a joke that, you know, just sell summer clothing in winter and then it's like horrible. It's the worst case scenario of making winter clothing. It's like, if you ever want to sell winter clothing, don't sell summer clothing in winter. It's a very bad idea. It's still considered winter clothing, but it's not suitable for winter. You know, that kind of uh, talk I want to do. And those kind of art styles is actually quite funny. So I only can then, you know, put two hashtags on it if I'm correct. So it's all it's all work, uh, all the work that I need to do in the first place. And then I hope that the 
translation is correctly, even though, you know, I'm very bad at translating things and I have no faith in Google Translate most of the time. So I'm hoping it is called correct, but if it is correct and I hope it, is, I hope it sticks. I'm going to be crossing my fingers if the translation tool is actually working properly with Google Translate. I hope it does. If it if it does, though, it, it's going to be a god sentence. It's going to be a god sentence, like, oh my god. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to make that joke. I'm just going to be drawing summer clothing in winter. And then, you know, having this uh, having this store that sells summer clothing instead of winter clothing. And I say, like, hey, this is winter clothing. And it's like... You know, it's 90% off, and even though, it, and everybody looks at it like, why would you sell summer clothing instead of winter clothing? And it's like, well, the team is technically winter clothing, so everybody's going to probably draw winter clothes in the winter clothing team, right? But if you if you draw summer clothing and make it look like it is Christmas, it has a way different aspect of it. So, yeah. The time that you got stuck on, uh, the time when you got stuck on selling winter clothing at, at Christmas. Oh man, that's the worst case scenario. You won't be able to sell those things. Absolutely not. Maybe sunglasses, but the rest, nah. You cannot sell a swimsuit at winter. That's very bad. That's not a very good idea. Unless, you know, you're in a place where you have like hot spas or something, but cheese. But I can make a Hawaiian t-shirt. That's that's doable, you know. Hawaiian t-shirt on a on a on a presidente, and you know, having the salesman being like, "Yes, yeah, sell, get buy it, please buy it," you know. That stuff is still that's still possible. All right, um, we're almost there. Wait, am I almost there? Probably. And we can now move to this place right here. So yeah, um, a lot of um, a lot of ideas. You know, a lovely, lovely idea. You know, think about out of outside the box. And everybody is gonna be like, yes, I will draw this, and everybody will have the same competition, and you have the same ideas, but. I probably cannot compete to other people like like you know what they are drawing. It's like I cannot compete to that yet because you know my drawings are not designed for uh, speed. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole joke. That's why I actually wanted to go to do the speed contest anyway. It's like I want to do the speed contest, but you're terrible at speed. It doesn't matter. I'm just want to. I just want to experience it. Yes, exactly. That's that's my mindset most of the time anyway i just want to experience the idea of you know having this limited time i already have experienced it but i just want to see if i can get creative work around problems that i had before because most people will think like if you want to draw for instance a tiger you can draw a tiger, all right? You can draw a tiger if you want to draw a tiger. Sure thing, you can draw a tiger. It's a big giant. It's a big giant orange, orange tiger that works quite well. But it just has to have the team of tiger. It doesn't have anything else. It can be a tiger. Yes, it can be a tiger plushie. Yes, it can be whatever you call a tiger. You know, you can make even tiger woods if you want to. Something like that. But. That's the fun part, you know. If you if you make a joke that is around a tiger, like, you know, did you know that the stripes of a tiger makes it invisible and then you make it just a striped tiger? That actually works quite well. Oh, I could do that with a tiger. I could just make that, but I don't know if I can make that in time. Whew. Just, you know, make that joke of, you know, that, that the stripes uh, for disorientation of prey and then, you know, you're like, you're hunting this tiger. You see this you see this predator looking at a tiger and then you know you don't and the tiger doesn't get spotted because of the stripes. Ah, oh, with a safari hat on it. Ah, oh, yes, perfect. Perfect. You don't see a tiger coming if yeah, because you know it makes sure that the predator cannot see the tiger. Or well, you know, the prey cannot see the tiger because of the stripes. And most of the stripes and because they are mo most likely hunting in places that are heavily thick bush. 
the stripes actually work at a, as an advantage because of the orange with white, I believe, with the reflection of sunlight in the early early morning. I don't know for sure, but that is actually why the stripes are actually working quite well and effective. Also, it makes sure that the tiger doesn't get overheated by hot by hot uh, by hot uh, by hot places. And because it has stripes, it also means it has also the same benefit as zebras. They don't get sting to uh, sting to they don't get stabbed by flies too often by mosquitoes too often because of uh, how stripes work. So. Um... Oh, I could make that joke, though. I could make that joke. I could make that joke also. Just, you know, toy around with mosquitoes and all that stuff. That bugs are afraid of, uh, or get too dizzy and don't deal with it. Yeah, that's actually quite a cool idea. I like that idea. I'm gonna be stealing that idea from me. Thank you, man. Anyway, uh, where were we? Oh, yeah, we were drawing. We were drawing things upwards. We were drawing things in such a way that it all will make sense later on. So yeah. Um, I hope everybody else is having a good day today. Because I do. I just came to the realization what I needed to do tomorrow. And the day after that. And the day after that. So I will be very busy. I cannot work on the Moffa project because I actually... You know, gonna be competing. So therefore, I thought like maybe you know two days before, that's a decent generosity of competing. Gonna be uh, probably live stream them like every every hour, like you know ten o'clock, then one o'clock, and then three o'clock maybe, and then four o'clock maybe at uh, three o'clock, and then five o'clock, uh, then six uh, seven o'clock, and then you know. 10 o'clock the last one so like i believe i'm gonna do like five street draw speed draws beforehand so two days of speed drawing see if i can test my time to see what and how and how fast i can do things because i have a feeling i i need to start from from nothing so therefore you know it's better just to be prepared on how to do things and then get started even though you know my time is limited and I need to keep them reminding. The problem is, though, every single time I look at the bloody damn, uh, bloody damn time, it's always like, surprise! Already 20 minutes have been passed. And it's like, thanks, I'm already 20 minutes in, and uh, I'm not even at the coloring. So yeah, that's uh, that's how drawings work. You know, you want to you want to speed up, you want to time, you want to time, you want to have some time idea, but. Because I always go like, you know, into the, because I always space out when I try to draw. Ugh, jeez. Uh, when I try to draw, I always get spaced out, which uh, is not a bad thing. It's not. It's absolutely not. Because it makes me less uh, sup su nah, susceptible to stress. But the main problem is that I also don't see how much time I spend on something. Which is the main problem here, because I actually want to do stuff. So probably gonna be doing like you know, fifteen minutes of work, uh, fifteen minutes, uh, fifteen minute, uh, fifteen minute warning, fifteen minute warning, fifteen minute warning, so that every fifty minutes I have a warning of like, hey, uh, you should definitely check up on your drawing. So I have like a very, a general, general or gen generous uh, idea of like what. Uh, what I need to do. No, general idea. Yeah, general idea of uh, how far I am in. So, yeah. Um, Anything else I want to say today? Well, probably that this is actually working quite well. I expected this to be a very lots of work because, well, you know, it's a big, giant, chunky, uh, chunky boy. So, you know... 26 minutes, uh, 30 minutes already in, that is like, it's a lot, yes, but it's doable. It's doable. It's, uh, I just need to figure out, like, if I can make it off. I know that I can do it. I know that I can make these drawings within an hour. I believe I can do it. I don't know for sure, but I believe in it. 
The main problem is always with the design. I cannot afford uh, rearranging or recreating the design because of how limited I am at the time. So therefore, that probably is going to be one of the major factors. So if I would draw, I would probably draw like this and then, you know, go onwards with it, even though, you know, the uh, whole damn drawing might look a little bit strange or out of whack because of how, you know, time constrained I am. So therefore, you know, if I draw things like this, would then, you know, the mistakes I just need to work around with. I cannot afford anything else. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing that. And uh, it's a thing that I'm going to be keeping my mind in. One of those things is probably that I'm going to be making stripes and then, you know, just selling, just selling tiger stripes to, you know, what of mosquitoes. The box is scared of stripes, oh no. Because they will likely less bite you. Would be funny, you know, having mosquitoes be allergic to stripes. The end and the winter clothing is probably gonna be, you know, me just drawing a, drawing, you know, this, and then you know, make this looking like Hawaiian t-shirt, make this Hawaiian looking t-shirt with, you know, a, a a doll with sunglasses on, you know, and then make a store around it. And then this is the winter clothing, and then nobody buys it. And then everybody's like, "Why? Why did you sell? Why did you sell winter? Why did you sell summer clothing in winter? That's horrible." Because you know, technically, it's called winter clothing, but it's so horrible. I mean, these things are technically called winter clothing, but they're horrible for sale. <laughs> they're horrible for making profit, because they don't sell well. Nobody buys when uh, nobody buys summer clothing in winter. All right. There you go. And now we need to just follow the line again. Woohoo! Following the line. Because that's how these trees work. Follow the lines, you create the crocodile tooth. Crocodile tooths will serve as, you know, the way of how to create things. Then you need to create variation within the crocodile tooths, otherwise things will go to look too general. Oh yeah, I forgot about that as well. Mm, yes, epileptic as well. Jeez Louise. Ah, da, 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 da. So yeah. Being epilept uh, having ep uh, having epileptic seizures is not a very good idea. Well, technically they are epileptic seizures; they're just absences, but still, it's not very handy dandy when you're trying to focus and then suddenly your head is like, "No, I don't want to work today. I'm tired." And it's like, "Screw you, man! Screw you!" Uh, don't you love it when things like that happen? But yeah, I'm gonna be doing some recordings. So hopefully that will work out, or just doing some live streams. One of the two. Oh well. It's gonna be at least something. That's for sure. Gonna make a little thumbnail to, uh, tomorrow. Tiny little thumbnail that will work fine. Alright. Jeez uh, Louise. How much time has been passed already? We're now at 30 minutes. Alright, good. That means that we're on high on schedule. We're on schedule, boys and girls. We're on schedule. Nothing beats my schedule and the schedule that I had beforehand. Everything else needs to be done by sunrise anyway. So therefore, you always have to do the things that you do. Ah. Drawing, drawing leaves, don't you love it? Well, drawing crocodile tubes. It's one of those things that is my favorite to do, you know, just very relaxing, just working on the way up, and then realize that you are almost there. But these things, whoa, they take effort, they take commitment. 
They take all the things you need to do when you try to believe in fate. Because holy hell. It's very weird where everything goes and where everything doesn't go, but it's important that I do the things correctly. So, uh, let's see. If I type properly, then that would work, right? So now the question is, if I go and find myself um, this, and I will type it like that, then it would work. So sketching this would work as well, like so, there you go. So, the whole damn thing is going to be good looking, and then we're going to go up again. And then we're going up again, like so, there you go. It's a very big boy, that's for sure. So, how much time has already been passing? Like, you know, you're trying to do this and you're trying to figure out, like, well, are you doing fast? Is this like speed drawing? Well, I think we can get this thing done by an hour. Probably. Depends. Situational. The main problem is that the motivation of this drawing is very bad because of how <laughs> the thing works. <laughs> If I ever needed to have any motivation, it would be like now, right now. It's like, oh man, Yuan, you can do it, man. You can do it. Yes, I could. I definitely could. I definitely could make it. The main problem is that this thing is like a very big boy. It doesn't like it. It doesn't like it when it gets treated. You know, it doesn't like, it doesn't like having too many crocodile tooths around. It needs to have some space, most likely. The main problem is that, you know, we cannot give this thing all the space it needs because of how drawing works. We need to give this thing space, but we don't want to give it too much space, otherwise, you know, the drawing will look out of whack. And that is the main problem. Because we cannot go upwards, we still need to maintain the, the same thing. We need to still maintain the bloody damn drawing here and there. So therefore we need to work around like, you know, working towards a circle. So one circle here, one circle there, one circle there, one circle there in the end. The main issue though is that that is taking a lot of time and effort. It takes more time to do that than just go upwards. If I would have gone up, 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 it is far quicker than, you know, constantly switching from side to side, fixing all the stuff between them and then, you know, go up. Then the quick question is like, why did I then choose this? Because I actually need to do this because otherwise, you know, the texture of the leaves won't work. And that is the main problem. My uh, my style of drawing with these things, drawing the heavy, uh, how do you say this? Heavy, detailed, semi-realistic art style? I think it is semi-realistic. Anyway, um... It causes a lot of time. It's a very time-consuming drawing, but it will look nice in the end. It also benefits from shading, it benefits from uh, coloring, and that's the main idea. So the whole damn thing of this drawing to look nice and steady, it's quite easy to understand. I think, though, that I'm going to be writing down the jokes. That's one thing for sure. If I want to do this, if I want to do these drawings, I want to write down the jokes first. Because if I want to think about the jokes, it's not a very smart idea, but I do want to keep the jokes in mind. So, I'm definitely going to write down the jokes, and then once the event comes, I'm just going to be writing down those jokes again. Just to keep myself a heads up, and then, you know, start from there to work on it. I think that's uh, the only preparation I can afford, because technically that's not drawing, that's technically just design ideas of what I want to draw. Probably, you know, one, you, what you want to draw is a very smart idea to have, because if you draw from nothing and you don't know what to draw or how to draw it, it might, you know, fall on its uh, back really early on. Alright, uh, that's actually another thing that I said. Woo. And we're almost there, we're almost getting towards the point where I want to be. To the other side, and then we're gonna go up. <laughs> like I said, going up takes time, it's, it's a very nasty little bit.
it's a it's a drawing that takes a lot of time, takes a lot of effort, and just works up. Of course, you know, this doesn't look like anything. And I already realized that, you know, once I was working on the other drawing, that, you know, the art style of the skeleton was wrong. And I was like, oh god, I did two art styles in one drawing. And that's like a big no-no. Um, how did this happen? Uh, how did I spot the mistake and how did I notice that it happened? Is because I saw... Um, I took the imp I, I implemented the art style of the of the background to the skeleton. What is the problem here is that it then looks out of shape once I drew the second character in it, or third character if I may say so myself. So the whole sweater design, the skeleton sweater design, is uh, the part of the skeleton part is actually wrong. But I cannot afford changing that. But it does look still decent, but it's just a little bit off to see, like, you know, having this and then having this. You know, having this eye and then this eye. You can see, like, <laughs> goofy monster, there you go. Uh, but, yeah, it, um, it's a little bit strange. And um, I will definitely reconsider that next time when I draw and that, you know, things are good and getting up upwards but yeah i'm gonna be trying to figure out if i can fix it um try to see if i can work around it but you know i don't have to, to i don't have this week time because of all the things considered because i actually applied to a drawing contest speed drawing contest even though i don't have speed <laughs> maybe i should have entered a club and then asked for hey do you got speed and then you know i might have some speed but that would be a horrible idea, because speed is actually not very healthy for you. So yeah, I'm going to be trying to do my very best on fixing the drawing, seeing if I can get get, get a whole drawing done tomorrow, multiple times, and then see how well that goes. Of course, I don't want to do overdo it because, you know, of my hand. don't want to overdo it, but I have a feeling that my hand is going to be quite fine with it because of how... This drawing takes a lot of your hand because of how many damn strokes you do. With a speed drawing, you probably not want to do a lot of strokes. You just want to train up your little bit of doing it. And I have been doing a lot of, you know, one hour streams, yes. So technically I could also use this style to do stuff, but I have a hard feeling that I'm going to feel miserably on that. Because of how little than I would have drawn. If I drew a little bit of drawing, then that would be horrible. And also, I need definitely to look at some uh, clothing, because I have no idea how clothing works. So therefore, yeah, it's a little bit of a de decency. Alright, uh, there you go. This is almost to the part where I want. To be all right. Let's just take a look already. We're almost halfway, and I'm just gonna do a little bit of sneaky little bit of thing. Oh no, we can just leave it. That we can just enter this. All right. So, so what I just what I do now is actually just see how this drawing looks with color. That's not bad. Um, does it need improvement? No, it doesn't. Because it actually looks now quite nice. If I now add the second part to it as well. So, if I add this one to it. Yes, that makes it that makes it look decent. But I need to remember that I need to loosen up a little bit. Well, I can keep this one, but I need to loosen up on the top part. So I can work around it. So I should then move... Try to work now from the top to the bottom. No, that's not a very smart idea. Um, I need to loosen up. Only that. Loosen up like... What loosening up I mean like this. Um, allow me to give you an idea. So we have drawn here. Yep. Oh, that's not the right one. This one. There you 
go. So I need to draw on this side. We need to get this up and running. Yep. There you go. Now we need to get this up and running, so we need to get this like so. Like so, and then get this like that. Come on. Almost there. As you can see, drawing crocodile tooths really works, but it's such a nasty little bit. This this, this part is so hard to do. Yeah. There you go. Cheese, Louise. Ugh. This looks nothing like the part on the bottom side, if you ask me, but that is exactly what my idea is. This is the looser part. This is the loose part, as I said before. We need to loosen up a bit. Otherwise, the drawing will not f work well with the rest of... <laughs> you, 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 you. Damn you. And now we can see how this all works. And now we can see if we can get this up and running. So if we now add right here, we add that. Oh boy. Loosing up. We cannot allow heavy parts because if we now look again at this, it should work. I believe it would. And I can see if it, I'm correct here. Well, I am correct here, but not too loosened. All right, not too loosened. So not too loosened, but we do need loosened. So not too loosened. So now we have gained the top part here. We have placed the top part down. And that is exactly what I wanted. All right, now we just need to add some loosener bits down. Right. Yeah, 
right, does this work? Is this the right way to do things? Probably yes, right? Double checking, double checking, double checking, yes. That's exactly what I need to do. Yes, it does, but I need to make sure that I do it rightfully so. Still need to keep... I'm not supposed to lack off on the... Uh... There you go. Not supposed to be lacking off too much. Alright, so... Like that. We can see exactly where it all goes. I mean, really, it has been a lot of times, and I am very, very happy upon how much I did actually today. Already, you know, this thing is like a big, giant, big, giant drawing. So, yeah, um, if I had less, if I had more time, I would have been able to draw this fully, but I'm already feeling like it. And I'm getting really tired, so I should definitely call it a day right now. Mm hmm. I'm not fully mentally, uh, I'm not fully mentally, you know, uh, tired, but it is a lot of work for my mind to process right now. Um, so I'm gonna call it quits right now. I'm just gonna be double checking here if that is all. Yes, that is all for today. All right. Um, I hope you all have enjoyed for today and uh, thanks all for watching and I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then. I want to wish you all a lovely day, and uh, bye!